Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in for this week's discussion. First of all, big thanks to Reed for putting together all of the information about selection for Squadron Command. Could not have done it without him and his help. I learned a ton and I hope that you did as well. If there's anything that you feel like we got wrong or you want to contribute for the benefit of the broader audience, leave a comment down below or send us an email to airforceofficerpodcast at gmail.com or engage with us on our social media platforms. We would love to hear from you and do our best to make sure that we get the best information out to as many people as possible. There are two things that I want to have a discussion on this week. The first one is about developmental teams. Now, I had known about developmental teams for a long time. I understood that they had a responsibility for the development of the individual officer. I even knew that they had some part to play in the selection for squadron command. But what I didn't fully realize is that they have the ability to shape the entire career field, the policy, the direction that, that it's going. That's a lot of power. Now, this isn't a comment on whether that is good or bad. It's just recognition that that wasn't something that I had understood before. And I wonder if that has been the case for you. What did you understand about developmental teams before this week? How did you learn about it? And then that brings me to my second point that I'd like to discuss for this week is why did it take me so long to understand developmental teams, but more broadly and more importantly, the process for selecting squadron commanders? Now, I recognize that a big part of that is my own fault because for so long, I just eschewed the idea of becoming a commander. But now I am wondering, is this the norm? Are there more people like me who have yet to fully grasp this information until now because we are making a pointed effort to put it out there? I'm curious. How did you learn about it for the first time? When did you first understand the process for squadron command selection? And more important than even that is what can we do differently in the future? How can we be better in making sure that officers who are potentially interested in becoming commanders and really those who haven't even come in uh, to the service yet get this information at the right time and place? Again, thank you for being here. Looking forward to the discussion with you, and we'll see you next time.